Klitsky. This is Marvel. He's turning four years old this month. And this is our 15th ride. Today was a milestone for me personally because I, I didn't have a spotter. I rode without a spotter today. So I uh, took my chances and it was fine. He was very good. So the thing that the main thing that I'm noticing right now, I mean, in hand, he's able to move forward with contact. I ride with a, a crop, encouraging him to move forward, and I'm also moving forward with him. When I'm on his back, he's on his own to try to figure out what it means for my legs to tell him to go forward and my seat to tell him to go forward. So my legs and my seat are new aids to him, and me being on his back is new to him too. He needs to get used to carrying a rider. So that's new to him. And he's got to get used to just all of that where before I was next to him on the ground. So it's very different. There are some similarities where the rain aids translate the same when you're in the saddle, but there's differences in that. I'm on his back, encouraging him to go forward with my seat and my legs and my weight aids and then asking him to um, move forward and then asking him to come into contact, a light contact. So right now where we're at with training, the reins with contact are confusing to him to go forward. He understands them somewhat at a halt to follow the contact. Following the contact in motion, he's not there yet. Right now, our direction is like not there. Um, thankfully, he knows what whoa means. So when I ask him to whoa, he stops. But we're really going slow too. So um, we've had brief moments where we have a few strides of nice quality forward walk that's relaxed with good rhythm and balance, right? Yeah, good job. <laughs> we've had some moments where he's done some jambette on his own just like that. Um, hi there, baby. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Hi. This is Marvel's best friend. This is uh, Makana's best friend. Right? You guys get along so good. So good, you two. So glad. My BFFs. So, anyway, um, so milestone day for me personally. Riding without a spotter. Uh, risky, yes, but... I take all my precautions. I ride with a helmet. I make sure he's in relaxation of mind and body before I even consider getting on. And right now I still have her, uh, Makana, with us because um, it's just right now we have so many, so many things that we need to figure out. He needs to understand it's like to have balance with a rider on his back that's where we're at right now his coordination he just needs to improve that and that'll come with time I have no doubt all this is new to him and he's adjusting really well so thanks for joining us and come visit us at naturallygated.com and make sure you subscribe to the naturally gated horse YouTube channel because you'll be prompted for the next video that comes out I really appreciate your support I just like to share my journey with others in case it's helpful to anybody. Thanks for joining us and come visit us at naturallygated.com.